Dr. Mehigan, thank you, first of all, for speaking to Northeast Life News it's Channel. Well, this is your first visit to the, stand, uh, to the state of Nagaland, also yes. known as the Land of Festivals. <laughs> and you are here in the Festival of Festivals, the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival. Uh, so how would you say, how would you describe the state of Nagaland and the Hornbill Festival? Gee, it's been a really special experience. Um, I must say, first of all, that what I've loved most is just the w genuine warmth of every single person that I've met and the fact that everybody's so fiercely proud of being Naga, you know, this is, and they want to show me everything that's Naga, you know, whether it's art or textiles or, you know, it could be a particular dance or a particular tribe or food, of course. Um, and I've absolutely loved that. Of course, it's beautiful and um, I didn't really know what to expect, you know, turning up and coming in through Dimapur and then up to Kohima and then up to Kisama. And it's really beautiful. It's lovely and lovely weather, my goodness. Well, Warm during the day, chilly at night. Perfect. So you have been around in the local markets here in Kohima, I believe. That's yeah. what we have come to know. Yeah. So what would you say about the local cuisines here? Yeah, beautiful. And like I say, I think what I love is this kind of, um, you know, fierce, you know, pride of, of all these local dishes and things that have been, you know, dishes that have been and recipes that have been handed down for generations, you know. So any suggestion of change is like really we can change this but I've had some really delicious food I've had some home cooked food I've tried lots of different ingredients whether it's local vegetable or local you know sprouts or roots or you know insects for example we set the challenge today you know whether you use silkworm and carpenter worm and they use spiders and so yeah I've had uh, hornet larvae all of which I've really enjoyed and as a chef you know you're curious curious you know to find out what the texture and the flavor is so yeah Future food insects, didn't you know? And you've been how, eating them for generations. <laughs> how, would you, how would you introduce the Naga food and the Naga culture to the rest of the world? Well, you know, interestingly, my brother-in-law, who lives in the UK, found out that I was coming to Nagaland, and the first thing he said was, Naga chili and, you know, Naga, Naga pork. And so I think people already know. So it's a case of, you know, people like Chef Joel, for example, running this competition all adds up to, along with, you know, the Hornbill Festival, introducing, you know, the rest of the world to your beautiful cuisine. It's a small state. It's a big world. There's a lot of work to do. <laughs> and it has to start somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> My last question to you. What would you take back from Nagaland, you know, uh, maybe some Ooh, memory? I yeah, obviously the people, as I mentioned, honestly, the, the warmth and hospitality that I've received has been quite moving. And I was uh, chief guest, you know, uh, in the arena. I was so embarrassed because, you know, I just, what, why me? This is ridiculous. But it was really touching and wonderful. Um, from a food perspective, I think it's going to be, um, I love the fermentation. So I love, you know, the fermented bamboo. I love the, um, for me, the kuni, the fermented soybean. Everybody's got different recipes. And the chutneys too, that are very specific to Nagaland and very different. And from my perspective, someone who loves kind of salt and umami and, you know, funky flavours, that's delicious. And that naga pork, that's going to be a struggle to recreate in Australia, but I'm going to have a go. Thank I've got a recipe now, Great. so I'm good. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for speaking Pleasure. to Northeast. And thank Life. you uh, to the Northeast and Nagaland.